Right, this could be bad for us, but uh, what is it? It all depends on where the enemy is. So the first thing we'll do is going to take a look. How is it possible I can't see anything? Okay, infantry squad in positions. This might actually be us against a huge amount of infantry. Right. More or less just going along the road, so it's going to be spotted. I don't want to go a long distance, basically, because I need to know if these exits are clear or not. I don't need to know uh, if the helicopter can fly that are along the road, that's irrelevant to me. So, more or less, we're scouring for potential uh, So a lot of missile teams and the like. It is very very risky to just blindly go there with the vehicles. That's that's what they're there to counter. Infantry vehicles. Um uh, can you see the enemy tanks? Kindle, uh, right. I made a stupid mistake. Stupid, 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 stupid. A classic stupid mistake. Uh, assume that the enemies you see are the only enemies that can see you. That's why we put the helicopters here. So we can do the scouting on both fronts before we make any kind of action. More or less we know that the enemy is stationed at just after the halfway point of the map and there's going to be a ton of them and they're going to see me already. So, um, smoke. Might as well dump it here now. Not like we can uh, avoid doing it. Actually... We more or less just have to cover the fronts of these vehicles. There's no way they can fire at us at an angle at this stage. Hmm, that might be an exception. A uh, better blade save. Uh, 
you have smoke you have smoke also additional super cobras we do we have additional super cobras yes they need to be the ones doing the scouting Can't see shit. Right. I have plenty of movement to go, so that's not a problem. Still, these guys are pretty much in a worthless position. Well, they can shoot at a lot of interesting targets. So maybe the other scouts can uh, flush out some better targets for us. How teams? Uh, no anti-air capabilities at all at this stage. I'm thinking of going cover here. That allows us to take action somewhere here on the next turn. Okay. Not bad. A lot of useful information. It's also fairly clear that we can't actually see all of the units that are able to fire at us, so we absolutely have to go under cover of smoke for our initial turn or two. Doesn't matter who it is. We're we're way too in the open. These guys maybe not. I mean we can only see here. But what about you? Need to get an idea of what we see. Yeah, the tanks will definitely be in a dangerous position, so a smoke screen is probably a good idea. Not sure if we can cover everyone, not sure if it's necessary either. Uh, let's say I need at least one turn in the cover of smoke. That should give uh, the helicopters enough time to at least root out the, where everyone is more or less located as far as initial threat is concerned. I don't have to take them out, not for some time at least. I do need to find them out. Anti-tank guns. These buildings are very lightly occupied. A tank firing at us. But that's pretty hopeless. Uh, I don't have enough movement to comfortably go in there and take them out. 
or try to scout for additional targets. We're just go out. Ooh, they can still see us. Who the hell can see us? Uh, mostly worthless targets. This one needs to be just taken out. That's about it. No. So launchers first. It's the only unit that has to die. Side hole and didn't do shit. Right. Gonna keep this guy a friend. Single helicopter, while effective, can still encounter a lot of trouble on its own. So that's not a something we particularly care for. Uh, I need to basically move in the helicopters to take out the anti tank infantry more than anything else. Oh, bitch, eight. I guess the distance, once it grows to fairly large, it's fairly easy for the vehicles start to dating. It could also be the angle. Map of Earth launches. By the way, that's the last vehicle. Yeah, and there's guns and everything, so... But we need to be much closer to these targets to effectively be able to attack them. Uh, this could be slightly dangerous. Everyone see that guy? No, just this one. Yeah, this isn't a particularly safe area to be in general. Doesn't look bad, but it's actually fairly dangerous. I mean, they, they don't have to kill us to effectively neuter our helicopters. Just need to shoot in our general direction or do a single point of damage, and the uh, helicopter will basically remove itself from the combat area. And the command helicopter left. I think I'll move this with the main army to act as a spotter. I mean, someone has to. We're not gonna move yet, though, so... Uh, smoke cover. Mm. I have to go after the units we already see. HQ! What a happy coincidence. There we go. So, not, ooh, a lot of tall teams.
a lot of tell tamers. Infantry pretty much to the final areas, okay. Closer location we can take covering. Right, didn't achieve much, but there's so many of these missile teams here. It's gonna take quite a few turns to try to get rid of them. Especially if we're task on to use the helicopters to do it. Gun isn't that big of a problem, it's uh its purpose is to ambush anyone coming along the road. The missile squads are the problem. They're positioned in a way that they can fire on They also have the range and accuracy to get, get away with it. Hmm. We have still enough mobility that we can act the scouts. Although Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit too dangerous to get uh, close to full infantry squad so close to the ground. I haven't seen a single anti-air A single one. So I'm... I'll stay here. Preserve the enemy. We have to start moving with the actual uh, army units now. Mm. We'll react with the helicopters we have to any units we see. Typical when we first started to encounter it. Probably here. Well, that's where we see them. Is it? Truly, where we first encountered them. Yeah, this is fine, the more they reveal themselves is fine. They're very unlikely to hit at this stage. Right. Let's get going. Um, we could fire some smoke still. I mean, it's not gonna really hurt us. And they could have a lot of missile units still left ready to shoot, so I think it's a reasonable precaution. Sort of uh, extend the smoke shield a little bit. You have plenty of smoke ammunition. Right, they should cover most of the units coming behind us. Staying at high altitude is asking for trouble though, for no particular reason. I don't think there are any vehicles anymore, at least not the, nothing that I can see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'll re-establish the smoke screen once more. Only once. Helicopters, transport helicopters might be able to get some of these to the front lines, but that's about it. I'm surprised if the enemy truly doesn't have some kind of a hidden army somewhere that's gonna take action. I mean, on the other hand, delay missions can be sort of like that. You don't, you aren't given a huge amount of forces because you don't really need to achieve all that much. You just need to keep the enemy at bay for for a little while. And these are the APCs. They should go first if any if any kind of a vehicle goes first. We have javelin teams as passengers. I totally forgot about that. That's not needed in this mission. We need to dump the javelin teams. Maybe on some of the higher areas here. So they they might still be useful in some situations. Um, I think we are going to move the helicopters to take these flags. Might cause a, some kind of weird activity in the enemy group. I mean, they have to respond to that. It's, the entire mission sort of relies on them being able to hold that something. So it would basically make my advance in, through their lines much easier if they make. Stupid decisions like abandoning their current positions. Hmm, not sure where we would meet the ammo truck. That's a pretty hopeless firing situation, but it's instant death. They hit, and they hit. Shit. Uh, we basically lost the command unit, but it's not destroyed. And that's a goddamn miracle, because it got hit with an anti-tank missile. I've tried that a lot, and it is very hard to get to work. Uh, there's really nothing I can do. This guy isn't suppressed and it has a huge amount of mobility. So it's a miracle we didn't lose it already, actually. Still, so, it is not a loss, and if we lose the helicopter for this fight, it's sort of irrelevant anyway. We have enough to do what needs to be done. And these are the only two TAU teams that fire. 
we are differently within attack distance of them, so they're they're gone. Killed his own guy. That's more or less it. This guy got bombarded. Right, how do we proceed with this? What type of uh, anti tank weaponry does the infantry have? It has uh, an RPG that probably has like a maximum range of 10 at most. Also, it's very inaccurate to anything but like one or two hexes away. So this can be dealt with regular ar uh, armored units just fine. Mm, we take out the AT guns, the helicopters, and the... Actually, do we have any other targets left? Really? I mean, there might be a missile team hidden somewhere, but uh, even that's unlikely. Drop infantry here. I mean, we're not in any hurry to get to those flags at this second, so. Try to firing at the units where we're planning on dumping troops so they don't do any reaction fire. And also leap from the ground so the helicopters aren't quite so vulnerable. Pretty sure I can kill that one by the, with the helicopter alone. Holy shit. Okay, not bad. You can always pick them up and move them here, not single turn, no problem. Two Super Cobras left to react to things. Um, let them stay in, in ready formation. Something unexpected might happen. Also, sacrificial APCs need to go first. I don't expect any trouble. I don't expect to have to sacrifice these, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna move them first. Mm. 
javelin team don't. Artillery should be the best unit basically to get these guys out of their positions. I think I'm okay to bring them forward too. Just wanted to make sure that I'm not uh, doing something incredibly stupid by doing that. They're routed. We mostly would just want to suppress the infantry wherever we see it. Heels are irrelevant at this point. Doesn't look like there's anything I need to react to, so I might as well hop some infantry. Seven men. They should disperse. Too much out of rockets, but doesn't really matter. They have there haven't been any targets for our rockets for some time now. I'll keep the missile platforms where they are, I don't see any reason to move them. They can't contribute anything useful against the enemy here anyway. Abrams are not going to be all that useful here. We have a lot of machine guns, I suppose. But at these distances, it's mainly a suppression weapon against infantry. We can't get uh, decent kills. Other javelin team. 
Right, the APC has to be the front man with the vehicles. Just in case we walk into ambushes. Drop the javelin teams here. I don't expect any trouble, but again, we have a backup anti tank uh, group there if something pops up. Either way, I think most of the fighting is pretty much over at this stage. Might be able to pick them up, the infantry. Again, I'm not in that big of a hurry. At the same time, why not? Why the hell not? Enough mobility to get to there. Shooting at ready squads as much as possible. Doesn't matter where they are, just want to suppress them a little bit. Ammo truck, uh, you probably shouldn't come here at all. One of the few units that we might actually lose. Command unit gone, but still alive. So no real point losses there. And the battle is pretty much over. So. And use the UEs to kill the infantry coming our way. I don't. So I don't think we need any specialty troops here to stay behind. Helicopters can go away and do whatever they want to do. The UEs are enough. Might as well start with the artillery. Any target you see that isn't already running away, fire. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the nearest target and shoot this shit out of it. Doesn't matter what it is. the tank crews. That's how pathetic that is. Mm, they do have a rifle squad pulling back. That's something. There's no escape for you.
No vehicles. Right. So you are worthless to me now. Um start with the APCs we bought. They don't appear to be that good at uh, killing anything, at least at these ranges. They're good enough for, for suppression purposes, so the core army is definitely have to score the kills. That it? That is pretty much it. They're routed there, that's the top one to immediately recover from, so we don't have to worry about that either. Air defense. Survivors disperse. Just mm. gonna move the tanks sort of along, so something really troublesome comes our way. We have a uh, heavy firepower to rely on. Although, I don't see why I shouldn't go for the kills. Tanks usually don't get that many kills anyway, so this might be a good opportunity to score a few easy ones. At least it would also give us an opportunity to fire too. Just shoot at a target and cause some damage. That might also give you experience, if not so much as actual kills. The only real threats are pretty much gone. Taking this landing site for this turn basically so the infantry isn't gonna get, gonna get annihilated by hidden enemy troops. But we're not gonna stay here.
Yeah, they really have nothing left, so... We're gonna move toward the red final flags. I think only one infantry squad here, just to spot if some kind of enemy is trying to sneak in. Still, don't think that's much of a problem. Doesn't say it'd be any Guess we could just rush in there and end this. What's the point of delaying then? Right, I can see those still. This there should be no visible units anywhere. Okay, I'm not sure if, I, if there's any point in even bothering to move the rest of the units. Suppose I might as well. Don't have to think about too much what we do to be fast. And fundamentally, it's not like their idea was at any point terrible here. They could have gotten a few tank kills that would be enough to deny a decisive victory. Put a few hits at the correct location and could have stopped our progression pretty much then, uh, then and there. We might have won in the end, but it would have been pretty much pointless. Eight hundred ninety two versus ten. So pretty pathetic fight overall. Uh, they did basically damage one of our helicopters and I guess that the first time they did destroy one of my fighting vehicles because I was careless. But this is one of those fights that if they could have scored anywhere close to hundred points, they I could not have decisively won anymore. Just so low on the number of units involved.
Veteran. 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 Excellent. Uh, not super impressed with the paladins. In some ways they're slightly better, but I think they might have less shots. In the end, it doesn't make much of a difference which one you use. Uh, there's clearly a use for the self-propelled artillery and stuff, so I'm not too eager to try to switch them out. At the same time, the helicopters basically perform every kind of attack action that was in any way relevant in that mission. I suppose the missile platforms was another crucial part, because the Cobras don't have enough attack capability to take down the usual amount of tanks. You do need the missiles, but everyone else was sort of there just for the just for a casual stroll along the road. Pretty worthless. Engineers, I suppose, useful for their smoke screen ability too. Mm. But you might as well use uh, self propelled artillery for that. They're fairly cheap. Especially if you're not interested in anything but the uh, the fact that they can fire direct uh, artillery at infantry and smoke screens, then it doesn't matter what quality the tank itself is, as long as it's a self propelled artillery unit. Uh, I think we're just gonna do a pixel. Love aid air defense. I'm not so sure about these. I mean, they're fine, but we can use helicopters to fight other helicopters too. And against the actual bombing runs, nothing is particularly effective, not even the air defense versions. I mean, they might be able to har damage and destroy a few units here and there, but I don't recall them ever preventing the attack itself. Uh, I don't want to mess up with the balance though. Not now. I I'm fine with it. April 25th, 1997. The Chinese army has begun to pull out of Taipei. The Chinese left several rear guard units behind to slow us down in the recapture of the capital. These forces appear to be in the government district. Your orders are to clear the government district of enemy troops and secure all the bridges. Ah, so city fighting.